A key feature of metabolism involves the transfer of electrons in oxidation reduction reactions. Oxidation refers to the loss of electrons, whereas reduction refers to the gain of electrons. In my previous video titled Bioenergetics, I've mentioned that spontaneous flow of electrons from a chemical species with lower electron affinity to one with higher electron affinity can generate electromotive force that can be used to drive cellular work. In this video, I'm going to cover oxidative degradation and reductive biosynthesis in terms of oxidation levels of carbon molecules, as well as oxidation reduction reactions involving oxygen molecules. When carbon is bonded to less electronegative hydrogen atom, the bonding electrons are assigned to the carbon indicated in white. And when carbon is bonded to more electronegative oxygen atom, the bonding electrons are assigned to oxygen indicated in pink. The more reduced compounds are richer in hydrogen than in oxygen, since carbon would gain electrons from hydrogens, whereas the more oxidized compounds are richer in hydrogen than in oxygen, since carbons would lose electrons to oxygen. In addition, the more reduced compounds have higher potential energy, since the electrons are associated with the less electronegative carbon atoms, whereas the more oxidized compounds have lower potential energy since the electrons are associated with the more electronegative oxygen atoms. Fats have long hydrocarbon chains, therefore has the highest stored energy, whereas carbohydrates are more oxidized and have lower stored energy than fat. In biological systems, oxidation is often synonymous with dehydrogenation. Dehydrogenases catalyze oxidative degradation of biomolecules which releases free energy that is stored in the reduction of either NAD plus to NADH, such as in glycerolaldehyde 3-phosphate dehydrogenase during glycolysis or the reduction of FAD plus to FADH2, such as in succinate dehydrogenase during citric acid cycle. On the other hand, reductases catalyze reductive biosynthesis of biomolecules, which requires free energy from the oxidation of NADPH to NADP plus such as in HNG-CoA reductase during cholesterol and ketone body synthesis. Another important aspect of biological oxidation reduction reactions is related to oxygen compounds. During normal cellular respiration, oxygen is reduced to water by cytochrome C oxidase, which is part of complex 4 of the electron transport chain. The energy released from reduction is used to generate proton gradient for ATP synthesis through chemiosmosis. Details of this process will be covered in a future video. Cellular respiration, along with ionizing radiation and some other drugs, often reduces oxygen to superoxide anion and hydroxyl radical. These compounds are known as reactive oxygen species, which can break down red blood cell membranes, as well as damage proteins and DNA. During normal detoxification, superoxide dismutase can convert superoxide anion into oxygen and peroxide. Catalase can convert peroxide to oxygen and water, and glutathione peroxidase can also convert peroxide to water, which is coupled to the oxidation of glutathione. Glutathione reductase then catalyzes the reduction of glutathione, which is coupled to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. Other enzymes that carry out oxidation reduction reactions in which molecular oxygen is a participant include oxygenases which catalyze oxidative reactions in which oxygen atoms are directly incorporated into the product molecule. Dioxygenases catalyze reactions in which both oxygen atoms are incorporated into the organic product. An example would be tryptophan 23 dioxygenase which catalyzes the opening of the five-member ring of tryptophan in the catabolism of this amino acid. On the other hand, monooxygenases catalyze reactions in which only one of the two oxygen atoms is incorporated into the organic product. An example would be cytochrome P450, which hydroxylates an organic substrate by incorporating one oxygen atom of O2, and the other oxygen atom is reduced to water, by coupling to the oxidation of iron sulfur center of cytochrome P450 reductase. The iron sulfur center is subsequently reduced by coupling to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. Tetachrome P450 participates in a variety of biochemical activities, including the biosynthesis of steroid hormones and the metabolism of xenobiotics, which are substances foreign to the organism, such as environmental carcinogens and various drugs.